Hi everyone, this is Shay Green, your independent Herbalife distributor here in Houston, Texas, coming to you with a great recipe, one of my favorites that I've done so far. We're going to be making Herbalife ice cream today. And for this recipe, as well as many others that I've done here on YouTube, please visit my blog at herbacrockergreen.com um, and it have all of your ingredients, uh, what to use, how much to put in there for this particular item, as well as other items that I've done in the past here on YouTube. So make sure you go to herbacrockergreen.com and get that recipe today. For this delicious Herbalife ice cream, you will need a couple of ingredients. Um, of course, you're going to need your uh, trusty blender. It doesn't have to be an expensive blender when you're making things like this. Um, I'm going to use a blender. I think I got this for about $160 off of Amazon. It's stainless steel. I love it. You will need uh, your Herbalife Formula One Healthy Meal. Today we're going to use French vanilla. You also need, this is a must, you're going to need your protein drink mix also in the vanilla flavor. You're going to need some frozen strawberries. I used about a half a pint of frozen strawberries and I had some left over. And you're going to need some other frozen fruit such as bananas. Uh, I also use Blue blue Diamonds Almond Almond Breeze. I use some unsweetened vanilla. You can use regular vanilla, um, pretty much any of the vanilla or unsweetened ones that they have. I use vanilla. Make sure that you're using chopped up bana bananas. So that's very important. You want to chop your bananas up and then freeze them. You also want to do the same thing with the berries, by the way. And I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, something funny that I, I did. Um, I actually had some whole uh, strawberries in the freezer this particular day. And did not have did not chop them up beforehand so it was a real pain to do this um, while they were frozen but hey I took my well I'll try to take my time it was kind of messy as you can see this is important this is really why it's really important to chop up your berries and then freeze them it makes so much more sense it takes so um, little time to chop them up really quickly um, I think I almost cut my finger um, during this time uh, but again this kind of shows you why not to wait to chop up your fruit you want to chop up your fruit and then freeze them it works so much better it looks something like this once you're done of course yours will be much nicer than mine um you know i even left some of the stems on which is fine you can leave your stems on uh, put a little greenery inside of your ice cream it's totally fine it's all going to taste all good in the end I'm going to go ahead and add my strawberry mixture uh, to my blender. Today I'm going to be using my blender, um, which is stainless steel, so it's going to be real easy to clean up too, by the way. Um, and it keeps it really nice and cold. But I'm using my blender kind of like I would a food processor. I'm not going to totally blend it really creamy. You can uh, blend the strawberries creamy and smooth and watery. I'm actually going to leave mine a little chunky and in the end that actually made for better ice cream. This particular recipe was adapted from a raw food uh, blogger. Her name is Christina. Can't remember her uh, tag right now, but I'll go ahead and add it to the bottom of this uh, of this video. But um, oh, make sure you add your 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 sweetener by the way. And I did use a little bit of agave syrup, about a tablespoon of agave syrup. Anyway, um, again, it was adapted from her recipe, and I added the Herbalife and made sure that I did, um, I tested it out with a couple of different strawberry, a couple of different things, and I found that the frozen strawberries worked best for this, and I think she used fresh berries for her. So, frozen strawberries, make sure they're frozen, and make sure they're cut up <laughs> first, and then frozen. Uh, again, I'm using my blender, kind of like a food processor. I'm going to kind of start... Um, really low first I'm gonna go ahead and start really low turn it on and I'm gonna kind of check with it I don't want to get it too I don't want to have it too much of like puree or too watery so I'm gonna start low first and um, and I'm, I'm gonna have to do this with my blender because I did not cut all of the strawberries up so when they're pre-cut you you could probably just do it on low the whole time but I'm gonna want it to puree too too much so I'm going to um, go ahead and do it again, pulse it again, probably on high this time. And now it's kind of like how I like it. It looks kind of like slushy mode, I guess. I'm transferring it to my Herbalife cup because it's see-through and I want to be able to see, you know, my my berries. You can also use raspberries in this one, by the way. I just decided to use strawberries, but that's what it looks like when it's transferred. It's still chunky, as you can see, which is fine. You actually want it, kind of want it chunky. Uh, I mean, for your berries, excuse me. 
and also I did it first because it's e much easier to clean up berries in, um, in a blender than it is to do the ice cream. So now we're going to make the ice cream portion. For this one, you'll again need your Herbalife Formula 1 and your protein drink mix. It's very important that you're using protein drink mix because it does affect the consistency of the ice cream. Um, without the protein drink mix, I did try another protein before. Um, it did, the ice, ice cream consistency was not as creamy. It didn't taste as good. So it's very important for you to, um, again, use those two things. They're made to go with each other. The protein drink mix from Herbalife and the Herbalife Formula 1 are made to go together. Um, make sure you shake up your canister first before you use it, um, always, with, all, with anything that you make with Herbalife. I'm going to do one scoop of protein. You can use two scoops scoops of protein if you want to it will be fine it's not going to mess up anything it will probably actually make your ice cream even thicker so use two proteins if you want to I'm using one um, along with two of scoops of the healthy um, of the healthy meal know that these two scoops of the, your healthy meal that's actually your meal replacement for the day so if I wanted to eat this entire ice cream mixture I can and it, it'd be considered your meal you can you know I actually when I made this I ate this for breakfast I had ice cream for breakfast who else can have ice cream for breakfast <laughs> so anyway I added those um, those particular items which was your protein drink mix and uh, and your formula one and now I'm going to go ahead and add the bananas remember my bananas are cut up and they're frozen do not use fresh bananas for this make sure they're frozen it does affect the consistency of the ice cream the bananas are what actually give you that nice rich thick consistency it kind of tricks it's a trick <laughs> use bananas bananas make great ice cream i'm using two handfuls which is about one and a half bananas um you can use a little bit more uh i wouldn't use any less than one one and a half bananas though so i went ahead and i added the bananas and now let's see I'm going to add my, um, oh, my pure, yeah, my vanilla extract. Make sure you're using pure vanilla extract, by the way. I'm using about, a, I use about a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. You can also use a half of vanilla bean. That works uh, pretty well. I'm using my Almond Breeze. This is an unsweetened 30-calorie Almond Breeze. Again, Almond Breeze, you can get it in the sweetened kind. If you're making a chocolate, you can use chocolate. There's different ones, and they have different calorie counts, but I prefer the 30-calorie one I use I usually use a sweetened one but today I'm using unsweetened and it doesn't seem to make a big difference in the flavor um, which is awesome by the way so I, I don't know if I've said this enough this is probably the better flavor substitute ice cream that I've ever tasted um, love it love it love it and the fact that it's healthy for you I mean who wouldn't you know who <laughs> won't love that so I went ahead and I blended all of those things um, together I did it on a low setting and then a high setting just like I did the berries um, I want it to be really nice and thick, so I'm just going to blend it just kind of like I would a regular shake, but this is going to be a lot thicker than my regular shake, so I'm kind of playing around, I'm checking, um, I'm checking the, you know, the inside, and I'm going to go ahead and stir, uh, you want to make sure that all those bananas, those banana chunks are, um, are nice, and you see how it looks, it's really thick, that's what you want your consistency of your ice cream to look in the end, it, it wants, you want it to be really thick and rich. Um, again, a little bit more protein will make it even thicker, but that's almost perfect. I'm just going to, you know, probably blend a little bit more again to make sure those banana chunks are blended. And let's see, it's looking pretty good, actually. Mm, I can't wait to taste this or I couldn't wait to taste it that day. It was so yummy. I have to keep on saying that because this was really the best um, ice cream substitute that I've, I think I've ever tasted. And that includes the store-bought kind. So I'm going to, once that's done blending and it's in the consistency that I want it to be in, I'm going to take a large bowl and I'm going to transfer uh, the ice cream. Please, ooh, my kitchen's kind of messy <laughs> today. Uh, ignore my kitchen. I didn't realize I was going to be on, on tape. Anyway, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look yummy. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer uh, the ice cream to a large bowl. See how it pours out. It's not it, you see how it doesn't quite look like a shake it's a lot thicker than a regular um, herbalized shake um, it looks just like ice cream again it could be a little bit thicker if I were to add a little bit more protein powder but that seemed to be the consistency that I enjoy I really like um, that one protein powder uh, mixture versus the two uh, you know the two formula ones 
Now I'm going to, and that's how it looks. And again, you can actually eat this by itself without the strawberries, by the way. If you don't want to have to take this extra step of putting the strawberry puree in there, eat it like that. It's the best vanilla ice cream ever. Now I'm taking my strawberry puree um, or my strawberry chunks, which are frozen again. They're, they're still frozen. And I'm going to go ahead and stir it in a little bit at a time. Don't put the whole thing in at a time. Um, you know, be careful not to drop the whole thing. And I'm actually just going to swirl it into my ice cream. Make sure I'm using my spoon at the same time. Um, and I'm just swirling it in. Mm, okay, I just had to taste that. <laughs> you didn't see that. I realized I had that on camera. Okay, so I'm swirling in the ice cream. I'm sorry, the strawberry mixture with my ice cream. Again, if you didn't want to use strawberries, you can use raspberries or some other berries. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have plenty of strawberry mixture left over, by the way, so I can use a little bit more if I want. I end up saving that particular strawberry mixture, um, put it, and I put, use a little bit on top of my 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 sundae, and I put the rest in the freezer. So this is what it looks like uh, in the end. And this is after I've already transferred it to the cup. So see, I had, a, had ice cream left over. That's actually enough for... I would say two servings. You would put a little bit less ice cream in your in your in your cup than I did probably. And it's enough for almost two full servings and they're large servings. I put some fresh um, bananas in the bottom and I put a little bit of the puree, you know, from the strawberry mixture on the top. You can use fresh strawberries that are not pureed, but I use a little bit of that puree mixture since I had so much left over. Um, I must say that this again, this was my favorite favorite thing to make. I had this particular one um, that morning and also had it for a snack. So I had the rest of the ice cream um, a little bit later on in the day. I left it in my freezer. Uh, it didn't quite taste the same. You really, if you're going to eat this, I would, would, you know, tell you to eat it all at one time. It, it really, I don't know, it just tastes a little bit different when you have it sitting too long. So, you know, try to eat this in one setting if you can. But honestly, it was so much. I don't know if you can. <laughs> Uh, maybe use it as your 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 I don't know eat ice cream for dinner one of these days you know do something different but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video again go to herbalcockergreen.com for a detailed list on what products to use you know what to do um, how to mix it etc it's very very simple I know this video is a little bit longer um, and again and again you can skip the whole part with the berries if you want to and just make vanilla ice cream this is the most simple you know vanilla ice cream uh, thing that you could do so again hope you enjoy it leave your comments ask me questions and I'll see you guys soon <laughs> thank you bye bye